Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. Appreciate y'all coming. If you enjoy the videos, feel free to like, comment, you know, subscribe. But when streaming goes horribly wrong, instantly regretted their actions when their streams went horribly wrong. And we are going to begin by talking about Jack Doherty, whose entire streaming career that man hit <laughs> as a result of crashing his supercar while streaming. Literally, guys, you can't see. Sh I'm most likely going to crash this car. No, I'm kidding. Hopefully not. This is bad. Just like Jack said. He couldn't see anything because of the rainy storm, but he instead started looking That's down tough. at his phone, and it was only a matter of time before everything went horribly wrong. Oh, bro. Oh, no, no, I see in this. No. Oh my God. Open the door, open the door, open your door. We're locked in here. His Jack cameraman, Snow. Michael, got badly injured. Why the fuck, Jack? Oh my God, Jack. Jack. My nigga, Jack. If you say, I can't, I can't see shit, but let me just not look at the road. Nigga, if you just said you can't see nothing on the road, why are you still driving? If I can't see shit while I'm driving, I'm finna pull over. And not just that, I'm not finna be on my fucking phone. Dummies, man. Rip 500k car on God. With blood running all over his face, but that was very far from any of Jack's concerns. Handing him the camera to continue recording. Michael, here. Michael. Jim, film on that phone too. Film on that phone too. This man leaking. I told y'all live video, man. I would sue the J off his name. Call him Ak Orthy. I sue the J off his name. Record. He's leaking. The car is total, bro. He didn't care about his friend oh at God. all. This is hey, this is a fake the friend. The amount of hate he was receiving before this incident. This is it not content. It's not content. Your friend is leaking blood. It's not content, bro. You're tripping. I Words sue his ass. Comments such as "My car is totaled, bro." Dude, your friend is total. The McLaren was so disgusted with being driven by him that it killed itself. This stream did not only lead to the loss of his McLaren, but it would also result in Jack Doherty getting permanently banned on kick. Yes, However, get him gone. It's crazier from here because Phantom got chased down. I would ban Jack Orthy from real life. But what happened with Phantom? He got chased getting permanently banned on kick however it only gets crazier from here because phantom got chased down by the police using a helicopter as a proud dominican american a helicopter phantom drove to the dominican parade to celebrate with his people but the day took an I'm unexpected in. turn when the police showed up go in go in go in go in let's go in go in yo we doxing ourselves go in. that man go got in. chased by the heli why the helicopter is on us oh my god the helicopter is on us right why? now why no they be doing that every time i go outside the real reason why the police were chasing after Phantom was because of driving without license plates. But the cops took it a little too far when they pulled out their guns on him. Why he got his gun out? The cops pulled up on him with a gun? Hey, you better watch out. Phantom gonna eat them bullets. <laughs> nah, for real though. That's wild. Why he got that gun out? You already black, bro. Hey. Man, you tripping. The police would then seize his Lamborghini before posing with it on Instagram. They with the took caption, the Lambo. They outside, we outside too. Kai Sinat was not very. Man, I'm gonna eat the Gucci third leg. <laughs> you wild it, hey. Happy with this showing his took the, in the Lambo section while Phantom took to his IG story saying, "You decided to pull a gun on me and all the kids for what? We had a permit to be in the parade." Rip. Then after hey. NYPD carjacks me on stream, Damn. they pose up with my vehicle like a photo shoot. Finishing off by saying he is going to sue them. Much like what Stable Ronaldo was thinking about hey. after he got slapped by Bradley Martin. Now, Stable Ronaldo, Ronaldo got a slapped. viral moment <laughs> back in 2020, where he lip sings to Payphone by Maroon 5. Hey, hold on. He got the same chair as me? Oh, no, it's opposite. He got blue instead of oh. When Bradley Martin NYPD hit a mean lick. Oh God, they got the Lambo off that nigga. <laughs> played the song in his gym. Stable hey. Ronaldo got too excited. He started playing the payphone clip, which he must have seen recently because it's been massive and it's been blowing up. And once I started hearing that, I was like, oh, okay. Ronaldo. I'm go steal his hat, you know. But Bradley wasn't playing around and yeah. slapped him. That's funny. That's funny. Bro, why would you mess with the biggest nigga here? Squid, if you do a chill VCA again, I won't be there because football, rip. It's all right, bro, but why would you, why, this nigga's massive. Look at his arm. Look at that arm meat. You're a clown. You finna mess with the biggest nigga in the gym? Look at Lacey. He's out built like a basketball. He on steroids? Shit, he slapped the fuck out of him. 
Damn. Slap this ass so hard they couldn't even show it on YouTube. God damn. Mink. Oh shit. After this incident, he tried to press his friend Lacey for not defending him. But Yo, what the fuck do you think Lacey's gonna do? Look at Lacey. Look at him. He's, bro, look what, look at Lacey. He's built like a wet balloon. He's not saving Lacey anyone. Lacey knew that doing anything in that situation would have just resulted into more slaps on their faces. <laughs> Lacey, Lacey no, he get that ass handed to him. Um, that was a lose-lose situation. Bye, bro, I'm getting prepared. All right, Uranium, good luck. Beat out of both of us. Um, yeah, situation. you heard that? See if I attack him, we're both getting the dog beat out of both of us. <laughs> Lacey know he a bitch. <laughs> Lacey can't fight. Anyways, uh, Brad, if you see this, even though you didn't really apologize, I still am sorry. Uh, Wild. Yeah, I'm sorry I let you guys down. It's one thing to get slapped, that but man. it's a whole other level to be knocked flat to the ground. And that's exactly- Lacey would get dropped by Neon. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I'm dropping all of them. Neon, Lacey, FaZe Ronaldo, anybody in FaZe Clan. Fight me. Fight me, nigga. Exactly what happened to Benny Mac Fight when me. he messed with the wrong guy. Benny Mac had gained his 16,000 kick followers by streaming himself picking on random people he meets on the streets. Hey. But it was only a matter of time Wait, take him out. that someone oh, was going to stand up to him. Oh, shit. Don't touch me. Don't get close to me. Don't get close to me, bro. Don't get close to me. Don't get close to me. Get a bottle. Bro, who, whose dad is this? What the fuck? <laughs> whose dad is this messing with niggas? I mean, right, bro, you what the heck? Since Benny Mac wasn't listening, he had to learn his lesson the hard way. <laughs> he caught his ass. Slumped his. Ooh. That nigga. Hold on. But this isn't the only time. Damn. Hold on. That man laying out flat. Slimity de dumb. Hold on. You got knocked the fuck out. That nigga. Damn. <laughs> That nigga leaning back with it. He's snoring. He I fucked with the wrong that. guy. Hey. But this isn't the bro got read a bedtime story. <laughs> no cap. The only time that approaching Damn. random strangers ended in a complete disaster because when Lil Mixie and his film that's what would have happened to Lacey, long man's girlfriend, and Ronaldo knocked out immediately. Excuse me, can I ask you a question for an interview? Nah. Oh, it's a nigga. Most traumatic event that you. What do you like? That's a hard one. I've been through a lot. Um, I would say probably. You've been through a lot. I can tell by that haircut. You need to. You need to go through another haircut. She got that uh, Karen. Mom threw a lot of shit around in the apartment and just broke. A Asking lot. that to a random is crazy. No cap. Instead of actually showing that they care about her story, Lil Mixie and his friend made fun of her. Mom, mom. Yeah. Yes. They made fun of her story. Uh, she reported this to her boyfriend, and he wasted no time. Ain't no her. way this her boyfriend. Y'all getting knocked out by Lacey Twin? <laughs> Lacey Twin finna knock them out, bro. Mixie and his partner to teach them a lesson. They Ain't no way never. he drank beer and sit on the couch every day after work. <laughs> he said, "Lacey, if he had a beard, nah." My name is Christopher. I'm not shaking your hand. What's my most traumatic experience? I don't know, but I know what yours is. Oh, shit! <laughs> this is what the man had to he say beat. while addressing the incident. Oh, my God. That nigga just dropped two niggas. He built like my... Bro, he built like my math teacher. Damn. Traumatic experience? I don't know, but I know what yours is. And he had the one-liner. This is what the man had to say while addressing the incident on his Good YouTube videos. channel. I don't go out look, look at that double neck. <laughs> that nigga got a bagel on his neck. And you got dropped by him? How y'all get dropped? Both of them. Hey, niggas be soft like pillows. For fights. I don't really like to fight. I'm not really even Wild. good at fighting. He beat I'm the shit. Just... He even said he not good at fighting. An overweight white dude from Long Island suburbia. If I know that, like, I'm being picked Damn. on or somebody that I love is being made fun of or picked hey. on, I'm not going to take that sitting down. Dude admits he That's is not a fighter, 
but he still rolled up on the prankster crew and put in work. Yeah. I have respect for the man. However, Aiden Ross got banned. Who's saying check out Squid Run and Cuff Chat? Somebody saying check out Squid Run and Cuff Chat? Hey, W, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. From LA after he messed with Hold on, what happened to Aiden Ross? Besides the herpes, that man has the herps. They down bad. Getting beat up by a man, a, a, a short, overweight suburban dude. <laughs> I have respect. Yeah, that's why I came here. Hey, that's W though. That's a W. However, Aiden Ross got banned from LA. Hey, appreciate the um. How many we got? Appreciate the five on Twitch and the um. Ten on Kick, man. Y'all goats. Appreciate y'all. Fifteen, man. No cap. After he messed with a real gangster, Aiden Ross found himself in a beef with one of Kendrick Lamar's crew members, Smack TDE, due to his it was public Ninja? support for Drake during the ongoing beef. A W Ninja. Drake. It all started after Aiden appeared on a live stream with DJ Academics and Toronto rapper Top Five, both of whom are Drake supporters. Me and Drake are gonna link up in a couple of days, and we're gonna do this podcast. Oh, and and we're gonna play not like us video. We're gonna look at every in the video. We're gonna do homework. Hey, Aiden Ross, let me tell you, you're, you're, you're in my city, Aiden. There's nobody that can touch you. There's nobody that can cuff them sleeping on squid. Hey, bro. They all they gonna sleep, bro. They gonna sleep until they can't. It's that simple. Smack came across the video. This is what he had to say. Uh, I was like, Aiden Ross dripping too. Oh, what's up, nigga? What's up, yo? After this slap statement Aiden. from Smack, rumors started spreading that Aiden had been banned from LA, since that's where Smack and Kendrick are from. Banned from LA. I'm not banned from LA, bro. I yeah. wish somebody would. I swear to That's God. Wild. I'm gonna go to LA. Nobody's gonna do shit to me. I promise you, bro. I don't give a f Like, you think I'm scared of LA? What? I lived in LA for years and years and years. I'm not banned from LA. F that old ass mother a podcast, bro. I'll smack the out of you. Well, not me. That's I'm not wild. security. Smack the out of you. Oh my God. <laughs> this nigga Aiden said, I'm gonna have my security smack the shit out of you. <laughs> you don't get no more p uh, bitch than that, bro. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know. In response, Smack TDE called into a podcast and said that he will beat both Aiden and his bodyguards. Yes. I swear to God, I'm going to slap him. And even if his security is from LA, they're going to get slapped too. So Damn. if he's going with a lot of town security, they really going to get smashed. There's no fly zone for him. He just is put no himself in an equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Aiden Ross, let me uh, let me give you a tip. Security get He knew he couldn't do it. Facts. Popped every day. But Aiden realized how dangerous things could get and gave this apology. I do want to clarify and, and, and take a step back and really, you know, in the moment, obviously, I was talking crazy and shit. Yeah, I apologize. Is, <laughs> LA is a serious place, and I love LA. Seriously, I love LA. Hey. Bro, LA is, is deeper than that, bro. There's a lot of dangerous. Aiden always got security. He needed. People out in LA, they don't even talk on the internet. They don't even have an internet. They don't even have. They don't even care about the internet. Um, hey. I don't want anyone taking me serious. I'm a, I'm a fucking, uh, I'm a nerdy white streamer kid. We can say Damn, this. Damn, Jack Totori was worse. He said he a nerdy white streamer. That man got bitched out. <laughs> Same thing about Sneeko when it comes hey. to looking for trouble and apologizing whenever the situation gets That man easy. got bitched out. Take for out. example this time when he tried picking on a four-time jujitsu champion, Mikey Musumeci. You picked on, you picked on this damn demon? Oh my God. Ain't it so cringe? <laughs> he said that about himself, bro. He picked on his demon. This man got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten abs. He got a ten pack. And he know jujitsu. When he tried picking on a four-time jujitsu champion, Mikey Musumeci. What I think a master of jujitsu is is somebody that inspires another generation. Jujitsu, hey. I swear, this is why I like striking. This is so. And this is a competition where you just—it's an art, and it's an art form. But I learned from this the master. Is wild. He looks like Mark Zuckerberg. He shouldn't be winning. Even making fun of the way he speaks. So that's like a master to student. He's an idol. Hey. <laughs> It's like a master to the student. I'm actually this Sneak is a up. leg heel lock. As you can imagine, Mikey got pissed and now challenged. He whooped your ass. To a fight. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk about bullies. Bullies are weak people that make fun of others around them to give themselves relevance and to make themselves feel good. Yeah. They pick on the differences of humans, which is the most beautiful part of humans, their uniquenessness. I really don't like bullies, guys. Hey, uniquenesses. I see why he picked on his voice, though. He got cut. And there's this guy named Sneeko making fun hey. of me, making fun of my friend, making fun of jiu-jitsu. He calls himself a boxer. I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. Let's have an MMA fight. I challenge Sneeko this is tough. to an MMA fight. Do weird as hell. his mouth. And I'm gonna take the bully's lunch money. But Sneeko folded and said he was speaking just speaking facts. Yeah, and he is speaking facts though. He folded. Sneak. He, he knew, you knew Sneeko was gonna fold. I make jokes. I'm a streamer. I joke about everybody. Me, chat, 
everything all day. He looks like me to be honest. I'm hotter though. <laughs> hey, you know. Every day. He's joking. What? I said in that video you're upset about, you yeah. would make me tap in Bra Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You would win. I want to see the fight. I was, I was looking at this and reading through the comments like, is everybody pranking me? Is everybody in on some sort of joke? Mikey then made another video. I want to see the fight. His goal for checking Sneeko was to inspire young kids to stand up to bullies. Obviously, <laughs> Sneeko doesn't want to fight me. Adding in all these stupid stipulations he knows will never happen. Typical bully. They talk and they talk. Beyond the yep. their screen. Or even in the yep. bathroom. Recklessly. And they never face consequences. Never. There's so many people out there like him. My goal here was to stand up to a bully. Kid, hey. get yourself into Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu so you can learn self defense. Damn. You don't have to deal with idiots like Sneeko. These fighting skills. Idiots like Sneeko and steal him. Man. He gonna beat your ass, squid. You see that nigga? He got a 10 pack. I'm not fighting that boy. I'm gonna blow that shit down. What the fuck? I wish he would run up with me. I got two for every ab he got would have definitely helped Speed when he got attacked by a Brazilian cartel. Speed often streams as he speed travels got attacked? to parts of the world. No, not Speed. People from different cultures. In one notable instance, he visited a hood in Brazil. <laughs> speed got pressed. What were you saying? Yeah, where are we going? Yeah, where are we going? A group of goons appeared out of nowhere and attacked him. Oh, they got a big ass stick. Oh. Speed goes to dangerous uh, locations. He's stupid. Oh, they got sticks. Them, they got them sticks on them. Literally. <laughs> you think he's an anime for real? And circled around him as he begged them for his life. Speed at tripping. However, the goons were Speed's fans, and it was just a prank. Oh, but Speed could not F believe it and remained <laughs> in a state of shock. That nigga Speed for the cry. <laughs> Look at his face. That nigga for the cry. <laughs> they almost made this nigga cry. <laughs> oh I'm my God. Hi, Mo Dill. Look at this. <laughs> Don't ever do that, bro. Oh, God, I'm never doing shit to you again, bro. That nigga scared as shit. It was slip Oh, my God. Oh, I thought I f***ed just a little boy. Oh, my God, I thought I f***ed up. Speed will probably never forget about this incident, much like Agent when he got into an accident while on stream. Agent, alongside Ty Leo and a couple of their friends, were driving through New York when their driver parked the car by the side of the road and tried opening the door to get out when this happened. Uh, can I use your phone? You can hold it. Yeah, lead out. Huh? Let me see that bed back. Oh, whoa, 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 They took whoa, the door off that bitch. Whoa, whoa. What? Whoa. Damn. Nah, come on. Damn. Oh, I can't. Asian, yo, I got less beard than me. God damn, you got two pieces. <laughs> back to back, bro. Back to back. He got the door taken off that muff. Dang. Back to back? Nobody was really hurt in this situation, but the door handle was seriously damaged. No. Asian, need that hat? <laughs> Asian got a melon. Hold on, bro. <laughs> Now we gotta expose agent, bro. Agent forehead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that nigga got a melon. Oh shit. Oh yes, sir. That sh that nigga shit go back further than a time machine. His shit facing the sky, and KSI and him competing. And what y'all think? <laughs> what y'all think, bro? And y'all, y'all think? <laughs> oh, kids, I definitely bigger. Hey, what y'all think, bro? Yeah, kids, I got his ass. <laughs> Damn, kids, I got that. <laughs> oh, that's tough. They both bad, yeah. They got that alien. They both got that alien forehead. They ain't gonna cap. All right, my bad. <laughs> they got that. Hey. Yo, look at 
people. Damn, that's bad, bro. He's going. Oh, oh look at the right. dude, though. It's over. It's over. The car shut off. You got, you got insurance? But this wasn't the first accident they had that day because hey, early key they also got hit by hey, a bus. Hey, Agent Loki, you could fix that. They got hit by a bus. Did y'all just hear what he said? But this wasn't the first Chat. accident they had that day because earlier on, they also got hit by a bus. Damn. Go ahead. They got hit by a whole bus? Niggas said hit and run. <laughs> Agent and Tyleel must have regretted getting on the road. Y'all can't drive at a certain point. <laughs> At a certain point, Agent, you just can't drive. How you get into two car accidents? That day. Much like Neon, who had to run for his life after Nate Diaz sent his goons after him. In the lead up to the fight between Nate Diaz and Mas Vidal, Neon thought hard about a prank. And this is what he came up with. Okay, so I look fake. Asking chat that I decided is, um, is I'm gonna ask him that. I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, I'll have the microphone in my hand. I'm gonna be like, when you get knocked out, are you gonna retire? That's my question, chat. That's my question. What's and he followed through bro. with his promise and oh asked Nate God. Diaz the exact it. question. When you do get knocked out, are you going to retire? Nate felt disrespected and started oh going my. off on Neon. What? What is with y'all? I, I don't get it. I, I, genuinely, I genuinely do not get it, chat. What is up with these streamers picking on people that will whoop their ass? He's a MMA fighter. Why? I'm gonna kick you in your leg, motherfucker. <laughs> it's little kids like this little bitch talking in this motherfucker that is like uh, changing the times. He's your little ass what? What is I got up with this? Girls over here that'll fuck you up. <laughs> but Nate wasn't just talking because he sent his goons to go take care of Neon. Okay, wait, car, get in the car. I wanna get out there. I'll call Masvidal. Just get in the car. Oh, they pulling up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You better run. You better run, boy. Oh, shit. That nigga buff as hell. God damn. That big buff ass. He running. Now, in the part that is edited out of the video, one eyewitness of the event said, Neon ran into a garage and slipped under a random car, constantly screaming, please help me. My life is in danger. Call 911 until the police showed he up was and scared he cried his lungs fuck. out when they finally did. Neon surely oh deserved to get pressed in this situation, much like Speed when he scared off a little kid. It all started Speed. when he saw a couple Speed scaring and stopped kids. them to talk to them. And Neon, your ass almost died, my boy. You see what, do y'all know what Neon is built like? Neon is built like this. Neon is built like this, bro. That's tough, but let's see what Speed on. A Speed scaring kids is wild. Scared off a little kid. It all started when he saw a couple and stopped them to talk to their infant child. <sighs> Yo, he speaks Danish? No, Dutch. Even better, man. Yo, you speak Dutch? <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, What's fuck, up, dude? fuck with people, kids. I got a question for you. English or Spanish? And then went ahead to make some inappropriate jokes to the little kid before scaring him off. Both. His mom is Spanish. Whoever moves first is gay. What? <laughs> to a kid? Oh my god! <laughs> he scared the fuck out the kid. I'm sorry. The kid's father was obviously pissed and started pressing speed. Yeah, bro. I'm sorry, bro. No, seriously. It's my fault. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a part. Yeah, he said you got a big guy with you. <laughs> hey, that nigga is big as fuck. He built like Zeus. I just said, bro, I apologize. You know what? That's on me. Is this how you uh, make your living? I know. I just getting the shit out of I didn't mean to do it. A I baby's to. crazy. No, 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 no. Be quiet, be quiet. Like I said. This is funny. Like I said, I did not mean to do that. Okay, I'm sorry. Go in America. You do your fucking Damn. He said, go back to America. Hey. Speed is wild. He really scared a baby. I gotta see this again. He really. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The kid's father. Oh was my God, Speed! Why? <laughs> Speed really scared a baby. He's tweaking. He made a baby cry. Oh. He really made a baby cry. <laughs> Damn. Hey, WV though, man. WV.